Hey guys, so I want to share with you an interesting concept in archaic religion, namely the created creator. And I know that sounds a bit contradictory, especially since in Western Christianity, creation is the work of the Supreme God who is uncreated. But interestingly enough, in archaic religion, the creator is not the Supreme God. Rather, the Supreme God creates the first being who then creates the world and prepares it so that human beings can live in it. And in fact, humans themselves are created by this first being. Now, the name attributed to this being is the Demiurge, and it simply means craftsman. And again, this is a very archaic concept. It's dispersed all over the world, and virtually all primitive cultures that have existed have exhibited this, um, we can call it almost a paradoxical tendency. So again, just to review, the Supreme God in archaic religion is a Deus Odiosus. This simply means that he is an idol God. He's not really a God that's involved in human affairs. Uh, many primitive cultures have recognized him as a good God. He's benevolent, he's wise, he's, he's, a cre he's the creator of matter, but not necessarily the creator of the earth. And he's a lawgiver. But other than that, there is this distance between the Supreme God and humanity. Um, the Supreme God is withdrawn. He's not involved. And the, I guess you can say, the spirits that are involved are the sons of God, or the creations of God, these intermediary beings. Now, the foremost amongst them was the main, I guess you can say, supreme being, or the next in line, so to speak, who was the Demiurge. And we find this concept, again, dispersed all over the world. So to go over a couple examples, the Samang, who are a uh, Negrito population in the Malay Peninsula, had the supreme god, Kari. Kari created matter, but this, the Demiurge play is the one who actually created the earth and humans. Same thing is found among the Maoris. Their supreme god is Rangi, but the demiurge is Tengaroba. And among the Bantu in Africa, the supreme god is Utikso, but the demiurge is Unkulukulu. And again, it's the latter who creates the human race. So you see here, we're talking about dispersed populations, right? They're not just a single population of human beings in one area where we can attribute diffusion. And to go off the, the works of Merche Eliade, who was a very well-known academic and religionist, you know, he wrote many works on comparative religion. He says that, quote, generally the supreme being gives place to a demiurge whom he has himself created and who in his name and following his instructions sets the world in order. And in another place, he says that this phenomena is so general that it seems as if it must correspond to some fundamental tendency in religious life. And that statement is what I find absolutely fascinating, that it is a fundamental tendency, because to me, this is an indication of not some kind of um, great coincidence, right? It just so happens that all these various populations, and there's far more than what I just mentioned, uh, that all these populations believe in more or less the same thing, the same framework, a supreme being who's a deus odiosus, and then a demiurge. This seems to me like this is more of a mythic memory, um, something that actually corresponds to some reality in early human history. And what further fascinates me is that the more I learn about archaic religion is just how Christianity appears to revitalize some of these archaic concepts. Like when I was reading Merche Eliade's description of the Supreme God and his Demiurge, what shot into my mind is God and his Logos, or basically what's described in the first chapter of the Gospel of John, right? In the beginning, was the Logos, the Logos was with God, and the Logos was God. And of course, creation, to some degree, is attributed to the Logos in the New Testament. 
right? There's many places where this is stated, that the Son of God is through whom all things were made or and for whom all things were made. So when it comes to this concept and these concepts in general that I'm reviewing, it's to establish a foundation, a founding point where, at least for myself, I can build up on my own personal religious worldviews. And it's just very interesting that in studying this and reading about this, I'm sort of circling back to Christianity. Because Christianity, although a relatively young religion, right, only 2,000 years old, still contains many ancient elements. And a working hypothesis I have is that perhaps Christianity is not simply retaining and revitalizing these ancient elements, but is in fact containing and restoring reality, so to speak. So anyway, this is just a very brief video, The Created Creator, uh, just to spark some thoughts and comments if it interests you. Wish you folks a very nice day. Peace be with you all.